We came to Epcot just to do Spike's Pollination Exploration 2021. Here we are for the Flower and Garden Festival. A taste of it, at least. Here we go. So this one's always the hardest one because they are in gardens near topiaries. Um, but we like to play it as a competition, so game on. Hey, howdy, hey. First stop, the butterfly house. Look, he's already running. Stop cheating. You ready, Parker? Time to find the bee. Oh, we have to wait in line. What do you mean you found him? Oh. Chris is in the lead. He's right at the entrance. Oh. There he is. All right, Chris is in the lead, one nothing. It looks like we're going towards either Donald and Daisy or the Honey Bistro. We'll see. Parker, Parker, can you say buzz? Buzz, 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 buzz. buzz. <laughs> Found him. The score is 1 1 thanks to the Honey Bistro. We'll see. How you feeling? Like I'm gonna win. Next up is the Donald and Daisy Topiary. Yep. I, I see it. Where it is. What do you mean you know where it is? You do not. Do not try. Oh, look at the Orange Bird merchandise. Oh, yeah, you gotta look at that. Stop trying to distract me. Cool. I'm buying that after. You know, All right, Donald and Daisy Duck Topiary straight ahead. I'm going for it. There it is. I see him right there, in between the two flowers. Do you see him? Ha ha! Thanks, Donald and Daisy. There he is, and there's the loser of this round. It's two to one. I'm winning. We're looking for prehistoric plants, Parker. Parker, this is your first scavenger hunt with us. Get ready. That was sneaky of you. It's in an area you can't even go right now. And I didn't even see the bee. Got it. Where is he? I just see the orchid sign. Oh, there he is. There he is, next to the non-prehistoric plants. That was super sneaky. That was tropical rainforest. They're not in order. That makes it harder. But I still won that one. But you still won. So Chris is in the lead. Oh no, we're tied, two to two. Walking faster because we're almost at Garden Italiano, which is gonna be mine, like last year. All right. We're still in Germany, though. So where this garden is, I don't know. Ha, ha, ha. The sun is bright. Oh, yeah, the sun is really bright. Right there, found him. Artichoke. I'm in the lead, three to two. How does it feel so far? I want some food. You too? Snack break. Got to gain that energy, Parker. <laughs> Woo! So we came to Epcot specifically for Spike's scavenger hunt, but we get to see the firework barges. They look pretty cool. And see the Voices of Liberty. Next is Kokodama Garden in Japan. I have searched everywhere and I cannot find it. But I think, oh, you got it? I searched everywhere, but here. What are you waiting for? What took you so long? Oh my goodness, you weren't waiting that long. Yeah. There he is. Did you find that one? Yep. Uh-huh. Tied three, three. 
Rude. Say it's unfair because Chris has a double set of eyes this year. I have an obstacle. I have a stroller that I have to navigate with. You have two people looking for one thing. Parker cannot tell me where things are. Parker's finding them all. I don't believe you found any. Mm. All right, we're in Morocco. I'm going to find it first. So found Urban Spice Garden. And there it is. The chili. I am winning four to three. Ha ha ha. Ooh, that one was chilly. But I'm cha. Wouldn't be a video without a dad joke. Next, we are off to France. Wee wee. Bonjour. Hello. Je m'appelle Christophe. Tell me a date de bon anniversaire. 19 juin. Et toi? Fancy. Un de toi. Chris found this one. It's tied again as we go to tips of the trade and then Chris's homeland. It is exhausting winning all these things. Ooh, we're tied. You haven't been in the lead since the beginning. We didn't even walk into England and already the British man found it. Right over here. That's the first time I've ever heard you say jolly good. Parker, do you see the bee? Oh, you found it. Look, he found it. You see the bee? Say buzz. <laughs> you found it. Parker won that round. Dada did not. Chris has taken the lead, but we can't find tips of the trade. So Tips of the Trade is definitely in the Millennium Building. And there's Tips of the Trade. Where is he? Am I going crazy? Tips of the trade is so hard because it's inside all the way in the back. Oh, I see him, but I definitely won this one because Chris is distracted by food. So I took the lead because Chris wanted pork belly. Hope it's worth it. Who's that? Who is that? Is that Mickey and Minnie? Who's that? Mickey. Are you trying to share your meat with him? He can't eat, he's a plant. <laughs> Look who's decided to change teams. Ha <laughs> ha, let's bring this home, Parker. Two more to go. We are tied at five to five, it's a tie. <laughs> Whoa. So we're at Outdoor Escapes. And Chris found it. It is tomato, or as he says, tomato. Right over here. Chris leads six to five. One left. I know what it'll be, but I just have to find it. I know we said we're here just for Spike, but we need this. I feel like it also like the hash as well. I think I like everything on this menu, especially that. So we got the cinnamon bites. We got, what is this? Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash and the Fruit Loop shake. I'm so excited. Parker's trying his first Fruit Loop. What do you think? Oh, that's a big bird. Here, do you want a Fruit Loop? Fruit Loop. What are you trying? The corned beef hash. How is it? Good. So excited. Mmm. It's so good. The 
this is what I've been waiting for. Ready? Cheers. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. That's so good. So Chris, out of the three new things from the griddle, which one's the best? Cinnamon bites. Mmm. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Hello. Hello. All right, we just need prehistoric plants, but it's getting dark, so it's harder. Oh, I don't know where it's gonna be. Found him. In prehistoric plants, across from mouse gear, which means, guess what? Congratulations. It's a tie. Woohoo! For the first time ever, you didn't beat me at this one. Yay. Game over, 12 means six to six. It's a tie. Guess what you won? You get to buy me merchandise because I forgot my wallet. Yay. I am so excited for all the orange bird stuff. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is going home with me. Ha -ha. This is so cute. I wish it was Parker's size. Oh, look at you. You look so cute. Cool. Put it on your head. Put it on your head, cools. Yes, cool. Got the milk jugs, the hats. Oh, the shirt's cute. I don't need it. But I do need this. Cute. And the jacket. Felt so weird because we didn't even go to a register. Chris just bought it on his phone and we walked out. Ooh. The future is coming. Oh, it's creepy. All right, we'll be back to see Topiaries, but that was fun. High five. Ha ha. Ha ha, high five. I, I, what? Nope. We are leaving Epcot. Chris, what did you think of the scavenger hunt? It was awesome because we drew. Your, oh, we tied. We did tie. And we got some awesome gifts. We got the orange bird plates. We've got the spike the bee plates, just because I thought they were cute. And then we got a special gift. Figment plates for Uncle Phil, who can't make it because he's in England. Now the cool thing is these plates actually come in a set of two. So you've got one to keep as a souvenir and one to use. Those are for Parker, those are for Uncle Phil, and those are for Dada's. Lock my family.